Chanzo's Gold Crypto Investing, where you like, subscribe, and share for a one-of-a-kind, company-made, computer software trading probability-based trading alert, technical analysis, and company philosophy, as I'm your most trusted source for blockchain technology and cryptocurrency breaking news and coin updates here on YouTube and in the cryptocurrency sphere, as old Vincenzo has brought back truth. And most importantly, integrity back into this trading sphere. And uh, what you can do at the very beginning uh, to help the channel is hit that little tappy tap subscribe button. Right down below to subscribe. Share the channel please so we can spread our message and get more traction here on YouTube. And uh, use my links down below. I got a BitKit partnership link down below. Up to a $5,000 bonus. Uh, based on initial deposit requirements with all the things they got going on down there, right? And then uh, if you shop on Amazon, I put a couple products down that I use, a three-wheel electric bike that I bought six months ago. It's holding up great. Got almost 300 miles on it. Goes 20 miles an hour. Or uh, headphones that I use. And uh, even if you don't want to use those, but you shop on Amazon every day to support the channel without any cost to you, you just buy stuff through my link. You just go on to my, down below my video description, click the Amazon, and then it brings you to your own normal. It'll bring you to uh, the three-wheel bike when you click it. But then if you just progress up to search and do your normal thing, you're on your own Amazon homepage, do your purchasing that you normally would, and I get a small commission fee uh, based on you using my affiliate link, right? So that's another way you can help support the channel. But here we go with DAP. And join members of Jabroni Killers. We have our cheap, cheap to support the channel for two ninety nine a month, right? And then join my Twitter, Vincenzo Skull Crypto Investing Twitter. That's a quick, easy way to talk and text and communicate with me one on one or text just and comment on the videos, right? And you can see what we got going on here is uh, DAP, a subscriber wants DAP. And we talked about this before, but DAP is very hard to try to do anything on because if you look at the chart, it came from way up there when you're way down here, right? And unless the price got way back up there, it, the, the chart just gets all discombobulated. And like we were talking about last time, this is pretty much in the same area. I think the first time we talked, it was about this was a month or two, a month ago, maybe two, maybe a month. So it was at the beginning of summer, and now we're at the end of summer, if you can believe that already, right? We were in here somewhere, right? And this thing is so choppy. If you're playing, like you're saying, it goes up and down really big in each day, which I'm sure it does, because from there to just there, that's a 40%. If you're playing the big move back up into here, I mean, you take your shot to hold it anywhere down here, you're at the bottom of this coin, right? So... Could the coin do something catastrophic like that? Because there's a lot of zeros left. You got three more, two more zeros you can turn before you're bankrupt, right? So this could eventually one day break down to the next level down. Oops. Break down to the next level down from this. Uh, where's our industry exclusive measuring tool? From this zone that you're in right now. And you could drop 50%, 60% in a flash, right? But if you're playing what's been going on currently, the current low on this. Oops. The current low on this with our little horizontal ray is right there at point a lot of zeros and then 3162. That is your current low. So if you playing want to play a huge pump, if it ever did drop down something real quick down to here, you would buy it. If you're looking for somewhere to try to buy a big bounce, you could buy that and ride it back up into the supply zone right here because that would be a big move. If you take our measuring tool from point a bunch of zeros three one six two back up to where you're at now that'd be a 60 70 percent move right so you could do something like that but yes there always is the risk of this i don't really know anything about this coin this just looks like a low volume highly volatile coin right because you could always flip way down and then come back up right but so that's what you're looking at in scenario one because right now you're on the mean of the whole volume in this coin that i've taken since right since right here right after it have that huge flush because it just would throw it so off. So this is the mean of the volume since it flushed, even looking at all that volume up there, all the heart of the trading was done right here. So this is kind of like your uh, major supply zone area 
within a little bit, a little bit above it and a little bit below it. If you zoom on out, this is your major supply zone. Right centered, a little right centered uh, along that rub line right there, which is uh, the mean of the volume. And that's where all the trading's taking place. That's where most of the trades, most of the money, most of the shares have been traded right in the range you're at now. So theoretically, when you're below this, you're bearish, right? And then we, we're going to want to put another one in here. Oops, actually, so because when I zoom in, it's going to take that line off. We want to know exactly where that line is. And that line is right there. And we're going to make this. Oh. <clears throat> No, nope, wrong one. We're going to make that white. See that? That's the mean of the volume. No, we need to make that red. Why do we make it white? I don't know what I was thinking. I got the other thing thought out. We'll make this red. No, nope, that's not red. That's red. We're going to make that red. And if you're below that, you're bearish. Speaking as coming up into it, you would expect it to get rejected. And the, and the bottom part of that is at 0 0.06470, right? Almost 6.9, right on the knot, right? But if we zoom into this now, because it, uh, I can't talk about this coin for an hour, you can see right now we're underneath it, and you would expect it. See how it got, it's getting bought back by the bottom part of the, getting just close enough, uh, almost breaking down through these regional lows. And now see... Every time you wick back up into this because you're below it, see this? You wick it, reject it, wick it, reject it, wick it, reject it. And I'm guessing this is the kind of thing you're trying to play because with our industry exclusive measuring tool, if you bought it each time at an average price right there and wrote it to the average middle, that's a 25 to 35% gain on these 40, 45% wicks. So if you're looking where to buy it for these spikes, you got to buy it when it's down in here towards the bottom part of this white support zone, right? Or you can even do it here because it's holding on the top side of the 200 and play another quick wick and sell. But if it trades up, gets rejected, and ends up back down here again, this is where you would want to buy it based on previous pattern. And then you ride it up into this red red uh, trading area. And if we zoom out real quick to the hour time frame, you'll be able to see this even clearer. So since uh, June of the great dump, if you bought it, you've had f three great buying opportunities. One, two, three. And then secondary ones you've had right here and right here. So if you've bought it anywhere below here, you buy it. Down, once it gets near the bottom part of the support zone, you buy it. And if you're trying to play this, this say it comes back down like this. In the next day or two, you would buy it down here and then try to run it up near this uh red support zone right so you would try to buy it down here and then you would try to sell it somewhere up right there because it's going to quickly come back down if you're just trying to catch what's going on here because that's what i believe you're talking about right now and then in the macro overall picture uh if you want to try to run it back way up into here uh that's going to be very risky right this would be to me more of just an in and out trade and i believe that's what you're trying to do so if i'm going to look to try to buy this if it comes the next time it comes back down here, that's where I'm going to take my shot and, and hope it does the same thing it's been doing. And then I'm going to sell as it approaches uh, this major uh, traded area as a rejection again, right? So oh, one more quick thing on it. Because if you notice, whoopsie daisies, that's not it. We got to go to DAP. Because if you look back over here real quick, you can see just the exact opposite was happening when you were coming to this major traded area on this last flush, catastrophic flush at the time for somebody that was banking on it going up and then you had the liquidation of hell, right? It pumped up, it, it, it got supported after a flush and it pumped up, came back down, got supported on it, got supported on it, briefly got supported, then it flushed through. It was acting as support when it was on the top side. Now it's acting as major resistance. See how that works? And then if we go into everyone's favorite XRP, 